This is Ryan Humphreys with Engearment, and today is my second review on the Ombras Armless sunglasses. Specifically, today I'm going to be talking about the Teton XL. Let's get into it. First things first, which version do I have? Great question. These are the polarized tortoise. All right, I'll give you a close up here in a minute, or I'll put a little picture somewhere right about there. Tortoise. Now, you might think you're green and you're saving turtles. Maybe you switched over from regular straws. I'm going to tell you, you're probably not as green as this company. Fun fact, they plant like 20 mangrove trees for every pair of sunglasses that's purchased. And the mangrove tree sequesters more carbon than any other tree on the planet. So just as a side note, buy one of these pairs of sunglasses and you're doing something definitely positive for the planet. All right, so I have a gray lens in here, tortoise frames, gray lens. They have a gray lens, a brown lens, a yellow lens, and they now have a blue blocking lens as well that I think you can put in each one of them. So my last review was on the Viales, which were a little bit smaller. These are just a little bit big for me. I have kind of a medium sized face, but I tend to like my glasses a little bit bigger. Now I'm also rocking the side shields. These things are removable. I'll give you a close up of these in just a minute, but MSRP 160 for the Tetons. Side shields are another 50. Now, also for every pair of side shields, they plant like another five trees. So what I'm wearing on my face because of that, 25 trees are now planted. And you probably care about the environment. That's cool, but you probably wanna know more about these glasses, right? Here's the thing. The lenses are from a company called Zeiss. So you might be familiar, it's a German company. Zeiss lenses are the same type of lenses that movie, movie companies are using in kind of high-end films, all right? Like giant movie productions. The Zeiss lens is very well known in the lens community. If you're a photographer or something like that, this is probably not the first time you've heard of that. Just saying, the Zeiss lenses are something that sets these apart and does not make this necessarily a cheap pair of sunglasses. High value, yes. Cheap? Top of the line lenses. Now there's also a lifetime warranty. The lens, talk about that, is polarized. You can get it non-polarized, but I don't know why you would. Um, it is that option. Um, polarized polyamide optics. And on their website, it says that they outperform both Smith and Oakley. I don't know the background on how they outperform Smith and Oakley, but again, that's a pretty big claim. I use Smith goggles for skiing and they're they're pretty legit but apparently these lenses in some way shape or form outperform both smith and oakley so that's pretty nice as well you could probably put them up on the same caliber pricing right about 160 bucks um, now some outdoor branded sunglasses you're looking into the two three four hundred dollars and i have several pair i'm not afraid to spend a little on a, on a good pair of sunglasses and i don't mind rocking you know cheap pair of gas station sunglasses from time to time this is not your gas station sunglasses, but it's also not your $400, right? So these are 160. Some of the other versions I think are like 140 roundabout. The side shields are an extra 50, but one of the cool things I think I like about the side shield is they, they have a little bit of this apocalyptic feel. You don't know if I'm going to go to Thunderdome and uh, battle Mad Max. You don't know if I'm going to Burning Man. You don't know if I'm going to go surfing. Maybe I'm a World War II pilot. You don't know, all right? But they... Uh, they look pretty dope, as the kids say. I think I think the side shields are pretty legit. I've used them for skiing. Rocking the Teton XL Ombras today on this beautiful 20-something degree day in Eldora, Nederland, Colorado. Here, absolutely gorgeous day. You don't even know it's 20 degrees until you pull your buff off. Um, so I kind of forgot that I had these on. I wanted to try them instead of my ski goggles in lieu of my ski goggles. I could definitely see using them on a spring skiing day. Probably a little bit chilly right now. When I had the buff all the way up, um, they did fog just a tad. I brought it down, it was it was all good. But what I do love, I like skiing in glasses, especially on a spring day. And, but one of the issues is uh, potentially glasses falling off. And obviously there's no risk because of the wraparound. The side shields are keeping sun out of everywhere that it could be they'll stay put 
the side shields are not going anywhere. They are removable, but once you pop them in, it's not an easy, it's not a quick pop off per se. So I like to think of these glasses myself as more of a mission specific. And the reason I say that is because of my, my only beef with the frameless glasses is that you can't necessarily easily take them on and off with one hand unless you keep unless you keep the strap exactly where you want it. So typically I have something in my other hand, my phone, something, all right? This is a two-handed maneuver. Now, do you have to do it with two hands? Absolutely not. You can see I can pop them up on my head. I can pop them down, wear them around my neck, which I find myself wearing them around my neck a lot, which is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of nice. I never really do that with sunglasses. So my only gripe would be it's not as easy to pop them up, pop them off without two hands. But because of that, I like to think of it more again as that mission specific. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you're going skiing and you get ready to head down the mountain on a run, you're not going to be popping your goggles on and off. If you're getting on a scooter, or motorcycle, whatever, bicycle, right, you're probably not going to be popping your sunglasses on and off. And once these bad boys are on, they're on. So if you are on a motorcycle, if you are hitting a downhill run, if you are surfing because of just their very unique specialized creation, right? These things aren't going anywhere. Now, could you just go to the gas station, buy a pair of croquis and throw those on? You could, but it's not going to look near as sleek as these. This is some sort of like Japanese nylon patented uh, waterproof, weatherproof. It's uh, it's pretty slick and it doesn't have to be like neon green hanging out the back. Not that I'm opposed to that, just uh, that's not what these are, all right? They're staying on your face. I've done workouts with them. I've done kettlebell swings. I've done some rowing workouts, jumped up and down. They're not leaving your face like they're on there. One of my biggest beefs with a lot of sunglasses and one of the reasons that Ombras exists is that the arms of sunglasses are a big issue, right? One, if you snap one off, you're kind of screwed. You could call the company, try to get another one. Um, also, for a lot of people, they dig into the temples. So depending on how big your head is, it really doesn't matter because of just this little ingenuity. Pretty sweet. Now, riding a bike, skiing, snowboarding, surfing, paddleboarding. If you go to their website, there's a lot of people surfing, wearing these, which makes a lot of sense, right? You're in the water, you don't want them to come off. I live in Colorado, not doing a lot of surfing. I am paddleboarding. The lakes aren't open yet, so I haven't actually tried them, but this is probably gonna be my go-to pair of sunglasses when I'm on the water. I have used them skiing, and I used them with the side shields. Again, little chilly out there. I could totally see rocking these in the backcountry. You may have also seen that they were the editor's choice in Backpacker Magazine. They were the outside magazine gear of the year. They were also the gear of the year in Popular Mechanics. There's a reason for that. I don't know of any other sunglasses out there that are made as uniquely as the Ombras and at such a high quality. So one, you've got the Zeiss lenses that automatically steps up lenses from most other sunglasses. Two, they are frameless, right? It's just kind of a unique thing. They're, they're great for water. The strap is some sort of patented super Japanese nylon. It's not going anywhere. There's a lifetime warranty on them. Oh, oh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite pieces is the case. I have a sunglass case in one of these pockets. Which pocket do I have a sunglass case in? Now, if you guess my right, you are correct. Now, these are my Costas. I've got my little wipe in here. Um, but the thing is, when you have arms on the back of a sunglass, you have a large case, which is just kind of bulky. When you don't have arms, that's right, I've got the Ombras case in the left pocket. When you don't have arms on the glasses, you don't need a big bulky case. So that's just one of those things that is, again, unique to this brand. Another thing that I love, I don't know how many times I've lost the little uh, wiper cloth, but the wiper cloth is actually sewn in to the sunglass case. Now that's just a, it's a little detail, but I think the attention to detail is another thing that sets these guys apart, right? They, they left no stone unturned and they put a lot of work and a lot of thought went into creating this product. It's also a smaller company, you know, created by a couple guys that just had somewhat of a brilliant idea. Sweet shades, 
sweet case, sweet lenses, sweet lack of arms. These things are pretty awesome.